up guys and welcome to another episode of be creative be great man i'm super excited i know i'm not in my element i'm not in my studio as you can see in the background i'm actually in florida on vacation um and those of you who know me know that i love to network and, and meet new people and you know talk about god and talk about fashion and talk about all, all these different types of things that that i'm that i'm interested in so while i'm in florida um, I came across these interesting people and, and I was like, wow, man, you know, th this is, this is kind of cool. And I was hoping that I can build upon it and it actually worked out. So I'm actually going in the mall out here and I see a billboard of uh, a, a flyer that said cars and coffee. The, I just saw the coffee and I was like, oh my God, yes, whatever that is. I want to go to that event and I hope it's pretty soon. I hope it's during the week that I'm going to be, you know, in Florida. And especially that it had cars, I was definitely in there. In it. In it. Yes, I had to be there. So I look up the, the information. I was like, oh my God, I look at my wife. I said, listen, I got to go to this. And she was like, I know, I know. I saw the cars and I saw the coffee and all that stuff. And it so happened that it was going to be during the time that I'm going to be in Florida. So I was like, you know what, let's do this. I want to get on this. So I took my equipment. I got my drone. I went out there, man, and it was freaking huge. It was a huge parking lot full of old classic cars, uh, new cars, old cars and little vendors and stuff like that. So I'm going around, I'm, I'm taking photos. I, I fly my drone around there. Um, and I had just a wonderful time. But and then there's there was a vendor specifically that, that caught my attention and it was a detailing company. So I see this guy and he's like cleaning the car and he's going there, he's put it in, uh, uh, you know, a lot of, of, of energy into, you know, into how he's cleaning and stuff like that. So he goes, he goes, hey man, how you doing? And then I said, hey, I'm doing pretty good, man. So I said, my, my name is Jonathan. He said, my name is Diego. And I said, also, oh, you just, you detail. He says, yeah, this is our product. You know, we sell this, 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 and the third. Um, uh, it's, it's not a lot of products. Usually you see car products and you like, there's a product for the tires. There's a product for the wheels. There, there, there's a product for, for the leather. There's a product for the mirrors. And it's like, he only has like two or three products and they cover the whole entire car. And I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. So I said, hey, listen, I got a, a YouTube channel and I would love to, you know, interview you for the channel to showcase your product and, and you know, what do you guys do and how do you guys do it and, and what's this product about and stuff like that. So he said, yeah, no problem. He gave me a business card and that was about it. Nothing. I, I didn't really like make anything big out of it, but, you know, for some reason I was flying the drone, I was taking photos, meeting other people. I met some cool people out there. Uh, we exchanged numbers and stuff like that to keep relationship um, going. And, um, but this Diego guy was stuck in my head, man. And I was like, wow, man, he seemed like such a cool dude. He had a good vibe to him. So a uh, couple of days passed and, and I said, you know, I gotta do this interview with him because had some things that, that were going on while we were on vacation. So I said, you know what, let me give him a call. I gave him a call and I said, hey Diego, listen, I'm, I was wondering if you were still available for this interview. He was like, sure, come on down. When he tells me and I see the address, it's like two minutes away from where, where I live, um, where I'm staying at. And when I get there, the shop is so cool. You go in there, the doors open up and you just present it with a cool, uh, uh, like bar style table there, but it's of, of for coffee. And then you got motorcycles to the left and you got a pool table to the right. And then it's really like a uh, 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 rustic almost looking and it's so freaking cool. And then I meet Diego and I meet his partner, Dan. And listen, these guys were so humble, so genuine, so amazing, man. And um, we, we just kicked it there. We started talking, you know, I, I told them what I do and all the other stuff that, that I got on the side. And they told me about what, what their shop was about. So I wanted to share this interview with you guys, you know, to encourage you guys and letting you know also, you know, that there's people out there doing some big things, man, and affecting the community also. It's, it's not just about, you know, the money and doing things to just get money, but they do things for the community. They do things to, to reach people to connect and to network with people. And that's what I loved about them. And not only that, above all things, man, they have Christ in their lives, which was the most important thing that, that really, you know, connected me with them. So I thought I shared this in. 
interview you guys so you can see what's going on so you can see the shop i got some you know footage here of of the the motorcycle and inside the store and then you get a little bit of information of what they do and what their product is about and um and get, listen, get your hands on your products. If you love cars and if you love detailing and stuff like that, this is a, a product to get. I am gonna order this. I just don't wanna order it while I'm here in Florida and then have them take it away in, in, at the airport. But let's get right into this. I wanna show you this interview. Let's meet Diego and Dan from Destin to Shine Detailing. Let's get it. Why don't you take well, it out? Destin to Shine started out initially as a detail shop where we do high-end detail for premium cars. Uh, we do ceramic coating, true ceramic coating here. Uh, we also do motorcycles and we do all the events, all the bike weeks, all the cars and coffee, all the local car shows, and we travel as well. Uh, we have a dealer network, uh, Diego and I, I have the Croftgate dealer network from Jacksonville, Florida, all the way down to Miami and the Keys. So we pretty much uh, have the Croftgate franchise here in Florida with the exception of the Panhandle and um, Ocala. And what we do is we sell products uh, by Croftgate USA. They're eco-responsible uh, detailing products. Uh, no phosphates, no harmful chemicals, no silicones or dyes. It's all eco-friendly. So our customers really appreciate that. And all of our products are waterless. So it, it gives it a high, high shine, um, high intensity shine, and uh, lasts for a long time where you don't have to wash your car all the time and use water or whatnot. Um, we created this space as a place, a meeting place uh, to have people come. And we realized uh, soon into this, after we moved into our new location about a month ago, that um, there's much more than detailing in our business. And Diego can explain a little bit uh, about what we're doing moving forward with uh, this location and, and all the charitable outreach that we're doing as well. Well, uh, the name kind of speaks for itself. We uh, destined to shine think that not only your vehicle, but you are also destined to shine. Doesn't matter what you drive or what you'd like to drive or what, what you're walking in or what you're doing. Uh, so how can we connect with, with that with people? Um, as, a, as a veteran, uh, you know, I, I love to be able to set up systems for vets to be able to connect. So we have a Lutz Buddy Up program that meets, meets here every second Tuesday of the month. So we became a venue where it's safe for all ages to come and hang out. In the background you'll see a pool table. Well, we can ceramic coat and we can fix your cars, but you know, we want you to hang out and have a safe spot. There's bars, there's places that you can go to, but we're not that. We're more as connecting in with, um, with our community and how we can help and how we can pair up. Uh, we have a program coming up really soon called uh, uh, Bring Back the Game uh, through uh, trick shock artist uh, Todd Kirstead who's going to teach all those impaired people that have no appendages or appendages missing how to, how to go back into getting into golf. Uh, and that in itself is, 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 is mind-blowing to, to see much less to experience coming back from from, uh, from a devastation from that. We're also gonna have uh, a, a person here who's a, a retired uh, colonel in the military in the Marine Corps who's gonna teach everybody to do high, uh, fly fishing through the um, Healing Waters program in this location. We're gonna have youth programs coming in through here with young, young kids bringing in their cars, their motorcycles, their projects uh, to be able to showcase them and to have a good time in this location. So. Yes, we can shine up your car, but I'd rather shine up your soul, man. That's just what I think that we've been called to do, and uh, we get such more, much more kick out of that than anything else. Currently, we have a young man who's 15 years old. Uh, his name is Emmanuel from Scarecrow Cycles. He's been uh, tricking out bikes uh, and motorcycles since he was nine years old. So we decided to make him one of our guys that uh, we, we showcase here. You'll see him in the back, his first attempts on, on, on some of these uh, China doll motorcycles are actually made out of wood because his father was a carpenter. So how really awesome is that? And, and these things actually work and they ride. Maybe not as safe as we'd like them to be, but they're awesome and they're detailed. To the right, we got one of his uh, mini bikes that he made. And, uh, he actually just learned how to weld 20 days ago and he went, came, I said, you know what, you got to bring your stuff in there. So he chopped it out, man, made it like a whole 70s chopper with a lane splitter. Wow. Yeah. 
So those are the kind of projects that we're looking for. Those are the kind of things that we're, that we're looking to pair up with. We're paired up now with Jeep Beach to do a whole bunch of events to help out vets, to help out youth. I'm, an, uh, I'm a youth minister myself and I understand that you are too. So we have something in common. I said, you know, we gotta give them outlets, man, because you know, we gotta share this world. And at the end of the day, they're our future. You know, it yes. just is what it is. I totally agree. Yeah. So we're proud to be uh, the sponsoring up here. We're in the Daytona, uh, Des uh, Destination Daytona complex. So we share here uh, and we're being backed up uh, by, by this incredible uh, Ross Meyer family. They also give to the Boys and Girls Club here locally. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that's, that, that, we're, that we're getting into that we're going to see. Mustang, uh, Mustangs at Daytona is held here. We're looking for the next year to be held here as well. Daytona Cars and Coffee, uh, we're now hooked with them and they're going to have their VIP party here. Uh, so they're a great resource. And Our so Dine and Shine too. We have our the own. third Saturday of every month. We have a dine and shine, we call it, from 9 to 1. We're doing the Jeep Beach uh, Trunk or Treat for Halloween, where kids can come out and grab candy out of the backs of Jeeps and, you know, dress up in their costumes, and we'll have prizes for costumes and whatnot, and uh, corporate sponsorships behind us as well. So, yeah. You know. uh, we had people come in here and say, hey, man, I, this would be a great place for my husband's birthday. Let's throw it. Let's do it. You know, I'm. I'm, as long as it's positive, we're in it. You know that's what I'm right. saying? And that's what we want to do. Uh, and I think that's, uh, we're just blessed to be a vehicle where, you know, uh, I believe that God has put this into our hands and now what do we do with it? So let's just make it, you know, make him shine. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. And then you guys got coffee. So what a combination of, of cars and coffee and just relax fine chill. pastries fine yeah pastries that, that this is amazing i love the shop if i could get pasteles in here i would i'm gonna tell you that real honestly <laughs> that's good that's good, that's good. But i, I want to thank you guys um both daniel and diego for for the time you guys taken to to just discuss you know what this is about um i'll be posting this on on my my youtube channel to just you know let give people another side of just like you know not just doing cars, cleaning cars, but if you love cars, if you, there's always something positive that you can do with it. Um, so I'm kind of excited I was able to meet you. I was, I was able to meet you, Diego, at, a, at, a, at the car show, now meet Daniel, which is, it's been a pleasure, man. So I wanna um, just, I'm gonna show you guys now some footage of this whole place. We're gonna take a, just a walk through around here and see how things go. But again, I wanna thank you guys for, um, for letting me interview guys for the channel. Oh, thank you very awesome. much. Awesome, thank you, and it's so guys. great meeting you. Yo, so what do you think about those two guys, man? They have a cool concept, they have an awesome shop. You saw the motorcycle, you saw the, it's, it's, it's pretty cool what they got in there, man. And like I said, you know, they have God in their lives. They're always looking to impact the community, doing events and stuff like that. So we connected with them. And listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the channel. Be creative, be great. Um, also on Instagram, be creative, be great. I'm going to be posting uh, uh, Dan and, and Diego's shop, their, their information in the description. I'm going to have their information, uh, what's their site, how you can get their products and stuff like that. So it's going to be linked. Uh, but then again, listen, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to share some thoughts on it, you got to send me some comments, send me some questions or whatever the case is that you want, you know. Uh, but let's engage with one another. I'm always like putting out content there that's that's gonna be informational, but also content that's gonna, you know, help you think outside of the box of doing things. These guys, these two guys, you know, they thought outside the box. They use cars, they use coffee to engage with people and network with them, talk to them about God, but also let them know that, you know, that this shop is like, like Diego said, it's, it's far beyond uh, a detailing shop. It's far beyond the cars. All right, but they use the cars and they use the coffee and stuff as a as a tool to network with new people and look what they're doing, man. So we we I bless you, Dan, and and I bless you, Diego, and I pray that we could continue to build relationship. And um, when you're watching this, man, I, I I hope we can we can connect again and and uh, whenever I'm in Florida again, that we can you know uh, maybe venture out on some other cool things. But thanks again for watching. And remember, never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. Later.